Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Going to take a quick break from talking about Christmas music to talk a little bit about the roots of Christmas. Now, everyone knows uh, that Christmas is a Christian holiday, uh, comes from the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, who in the Christian faith is uh, the Savior, the Son of God and man, uh, the one uh, who came to show us the way to redemption and to kind of soften things up over uh, the Old Testament uh, God. Uh, he's kind of a much more personable, uh, friendly uh, representative of, uh, of God. And, and it's a great story uh, about Mary, uh, who's been uh, divinely impregnated by God, uh, and her husband Joseph getting called to the national census, uh, showing up and uh, not having anywhere to stay. So they get put in the manger or put out in a, put out in a barn uh, because it's the only space uh, there is. And uh, she gives birth under these very bad conditions. Uh, wise men and shepherds show up to pay tribute to the uh, newly born son of God who is wrapped in swaddling clothes in a manger. Uh, angels sing out, bright star overhead, leading everyone to this place. Uh, and it's kind of the beginning of the Christian religion, uh, the, the next step in, uh, some would say, the religious evolution, moving on from uh, the Hebrew faith uh, and coming into the teachings of the new prophet, of the actual Messiah. And uh, there's a lot of nuance in that story. There's a lot of great stuff in that story. I was raised Catholic, so I know that story relatively well. Uh, and it's something that carries through to most of the different iterations of Christianity, uh, where in December we celebrate Jesus' birth. The problem is that there's no historic basis nor basis in common sense for any of that stuff to have gone on in December. Yes, there was a big national census that went on, but it didn't happen in December. It happened much earlier in the year. And no one would be traveling that much in the winter. Uh, things get cold even in uh, the Middle East uh, when you hit uh, December and, and January and everything like that. It, things are not pleasant to be outside during. But, and this is where uh, real history uh, and sensibility comes into play, as Christianity caught on and started to spread, they discovered, as they ran into other cultures, probably starting with the uh, Greeks and Romans and Egyptians that they were all surrounded by, uh, discovered that uh, there were already some fantastic holiday celebrations going on in December based on uh, other uh, religions and other uh, beliefs, other gods, uh, other avatars were all born born uh, in December around the 21st or 22nd, around the time when you have the shortest day of the year. And this tracks pretty well across uh, most indigenous populations, most tribal societies, uh, any group that had a relationship deeply tied to the land which is most groups uh, at one point or time in their uh, development, they have to pay attention to the progression of the seasons. Uh, otherwise, you don't know uh, when the best time to farm is, when the best time to harvest is, how much longer your food stores have to last. Uh, and winters, especially as you get further north, uh, can be really harsh and really long at times. Uh, so it helps immensely to have something come up in the middle of those sometimes really long winters 
to remind people that there is still a reason to go on, to take stock of everything they should be thankful for, and to get together and have some enjoyment in an otherwise very harsh environment. And that celebration, uh, commonly known as, as Yule, uh, among especially the modern pagan uh, groups, as well as numerous other traditional um, religions uh, out there that are not Christian uh, or Judeo-Christian, as the case may be, none of the Abrahamic religions. Uh, but that Yule celebration is a celebration of the winter solstice, of the shortest day of the year. It's a celebration of the light returning from the world to the world uh, the end of the darkest days and the beginning of things returning to a more productive state now that fits really really well with uh, the christian ideas of what the messiah would bring so it only makes sense that as christianity propagated and sometimes forcibly converted the indigenous populations of the various areas uh, as the Holy Roman Empire expanded to make use of this Yule celebration and incorporate it into their own religious mythology. So a lot of what we use in our Christmas celebrations, almost all of what we consider Christmassy, is tied directly to these pagan Yule celebrations, uh, especially in the, uh, in the Nordic countries where uh, winter was really a big deal. So the whole pine tree, the uh, idea of Santa Claus as a whole, that's all from Nordic uh, pagan traditions. A and we incorporated it so solidly into the Christian religion that a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the symbolism, the, the decorated tree, the Yule log, uh, a lot of the uh, foods we eat uh, for Christmas, the, the idea of peppermint and mistletoe as a decoration, all come from all of these other mythologies and became part of the Christian vernacular. So... Today is the solstice. It's, it's December 21st, and uh, we're looking at the shortest day of the year, uh, December 21st, 22nd, depending on where uh, you, you break, the, uh, break the day. But uh, it's a celebration of the end of the darkest period of the year. It's when we should all realize what we have to look forward to and celebrate the fact that we made it through the worst of uh, what's been over the past year. The light is returning to the world. Things will get warmer and melt soon, which is a little odd this year being it's been in the 70s uh, here in the D.C. area for most of the winter so far. Uh, finally got a little chilly the, the other night, but we haven't had any real snow. So the symbolism gets kind of lost. But classically speaking, uh, and, and astronomically speaking, because it is directly connected to the progression of uh, the sun in the sky, we are heading into brighter times. And that's what we should be celebrating. The fact that there are cycles. The fact that stuff never stays dark forever. That there's always a time when it gets better, when it gets brighter. And that's what we push for. That's what we struggle for. And that's what we celebrate. The victory of. The victory of the light over the darkness. And the fact that we can continue on no matter what. So to everyone who celebrates uh, Yule uh, as opposed to Christmas, uh, have a blessed Yule. And enjoy whatever celebration you have. Uh, and continue onward. Always continue onward. 
So let me know down in the comments below what your favorite tradition is for uh, Yule or Christmas, since, again, a whole lot of overlap there. Let me know down in the comments. If you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right below the video. If you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when I put out these videos. And if you know anyone else who's interested in the stuff I talk about, share this video with them so they can get involved in the conversation. That's it for today. I'm Kier. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.